We finish this evening of music with one of the most sensual, lush piano quartets that you will ever hear. Foray's Piano Quartet Number no. 1 in C minor. The 1870s were a particularly eventful period in the life of Gabriel Fauré. One major event was that he fell in love with Marianne Viardot. Despite Marianne's shyness, Fauré persisted in his attention for nearly five years. And in July 1877, the couple finally became engaged. It seems, however, that Fauré's passion was unreciprocated, for Marianne broke off the engagement within four months and afterwards confessed that she found her fiancé more intimidating than endearing. Poor Foré. It was during the later stages of this very frustrating relationship that Foré began his work on the first piano quartet. And did he include his heartache in the music? Well, we're not sure. Some sources say yes, some say no. Uh, but let's look at the structure of this glorious piece, and maybe we can find out. First, there's an allegro vivo, which is a gloriously full-throated, warm, big musical conversation, big-hearted affair, absolutely embracing you with warm afternoon light. It's just stupendous. The second movement is a scherzo, which in Italian means joke or laughing or lighthearted, and this is definitely in that vein. It's a joyful fairyland, like the fairies are coming and lightly touching the earth and flying away again. Really magical. The adagio, the slow movement, is in a very special key of C minor, and it's one of Foray's finest slow movements. Uh, this one really tugs at your heartstrings. I think in this movement, you gain more than just a hint of his feelings during that year of uh, 1877. This movement is like hearing what twilight looks like. It's so lovely. The fourth is a movement of perpetual motion. There's plucked streams, there's uh, strings, there's streams of notes coming from the piano all the way down. There's magnificent swells and sweeps which just carry you right along to the end. There's a little story about whether he put heartache into it or not. Marguerite Long, who championed the composer's piano works, described the piece's slow movement as, quote, the sorrowful echo of the break of Foray's engagement with Marianne Viardot. And she reported that she could not hold back her tears when she performed the piece with the Café Quartet, and Foray was turning pages for her in what was her first public appearance playing his music. It's a very touching story. I know that you will be touched by this piece. I'm so glad to have you with us, and I look forward to greeting you at the concerts. Thanks for joining.